What's happening guys and welcome to Dominating Division 1 episode number 2. My name is Dirty Mike and if you're new to the series, then it's all about building different squads and running the table. Jumping right into ranked head to head matches on FIFA Ultimate Team. Obviously everything takes place in Division 1. And my primary goal is to really dominate Division 1. I'd like to get a lot of nice goals and highlights for you guys to, to watch. And I want to add some silverware and some titles to my resume. That's the plan. And if you are not familiar with my current squad, I'm rocking uh, a Netherlands domestic league team. And they're pretty, they're pretty well pace driven, a lot of speed on the roster. And it's a bronze and silver squad. In these videos, I want to talk a lot about different things that go down in Ultimate Team Mode, general FIFA information. I'm actually going to do a lot of squad info also. I know a few people have already messaged me about how they don't like that I play outside backs in the center back position sometimes just to get that boost of pace. I've been doing that for a couple years in Ultimate Team. Unless you have really fit pacey center back, sometimes I will rock the outside back in the center. And I know that doesn't uh, doesn't lead to your chemistry being perfect. I think I have like a 96 or a 97 with this current team. But uh, I can make those changes. The next team, I'm going to make sure to, to rock at a total 100% chemistry. Just because I haven't liked the way this team's really been moving that well. They go forward alright, but I don't know. Something's missing. It could be the 4-3-2-1. My beloved formation is just not rocking as well as I thought it would in FIFA 13. It was so good last year. I, I absolutely uh, felt like a god in the 4-3-2-1, but this year it just does not feel that way. I've noticed that I have a lot of left-footed players also on my roster, and it's killing me. I cut inside to the right foot all the time, or, well, it happens often, every game, and I have these fantastic opportunities. You know, sometimes as close as 8 to 10 yards from the goal, and my players are shooting them either way too close to the keeper or vice versa and it's way wide of the post and it's kind of embarrassing to be honest but if you're not clinical and, and you're not very consistent you're gonna lose a lot of games in FIFA I would say both those things are very much so important to to being successful in FIFA and winning games and so far I really haven't been I've been with either one of them I've just been making a lot more chances than my opponents and that's why I've been winning games and I've started out the series pretty well but those kind of that can change around that can change really quickly if you any of you guys have played a lot of FIFA then you know momentum is definitely in the game uh, if I score one goal there's a good chance I can score two three four more and then when you're not scoring goals it's like it's a battle just to try to get in there you can't buy a goal no matter how much money you have to spend and the same works for wins you can be on a great winning streak but right when you cop that first loss it sometimes you just don't get back on track right away I've also noticed a lot of my players have bad touches, but that's not really that big of a deal. I think with a bronze and silver team, that should be expected. If you're trying to improve your first touches, you feel like you have bad first touch control, hold the LT trigger on the Xbox when you're receiving passes. It's, it, it's a controlled dribble, but when you're receiving passes, it just improves your first touch a lot. And sometimes when you get that, uh, that death ball, you know, like it's just a really driven through ball and you know your guy's going to have a bad touch on it, definitely hold that LT. And a lot of times it will actually improve that first touch, and it's a, a nice little cheat sheet for, for FIFA for sure. I actually went through my entire roster recently because I was having so much trouble shooting, and my gameplay and buildup has been, I think it's been pretty solid. Like, I've been making chances, but I can't, I can't finish at all right now, and I'm not getting sweaty opportunities mainly because my opponents are pretty good, and their back four has been so pacey versus the majority of uh, players that I've been matched up with that I'm just not getting sweaty opportunities. And I'm not endorsing sweaties, but I... I'm not against them. I know some people are like, never will I score a sweaty goal. And I'm, if it's open, I, I'll see it and I'll make that happen. But it's not a huge part of my uh, my game plan, I guess. But I don't mind doing them whatsoever. But yeah, back to low shooting stats. I only have two players on my team that actually have over a 70 in shooting. They have 70 and a 71. And I think that's contributed to, even though I have good gameplay and build up and I'm making chances, I'm just not finishing that well, especially from outside the box. I got really open looks from like 20 to 30 yards in a lot of these games, and I'm having a lot of trouble putting them on frame. Oh, quick giveaway reminder. If you're subscribed to my channel and you like and comment any of the videos in this series, then you're eligible for a giveaway. And I'm giving away 8 to 10,000 coins, and the plan is hopefully I win the division, I can just give you those coins that I won. And if I don't win the division, I'll still supply the coins just out of my own pocket, no worries. And a couple of you guys that are ps3 users you messaged me you asked me like what about us if we win the giveaway i know this is on the xbox are we still eligible to get some coins 
And the answer is yes. I actually do some trading on the PS3 on FIFA Ultimate Team. I don't I haven't really played on in there yet at all, but I do have some coins. So if you do win and you're a PS3 user, just let me know and I'll supply the coins on the PS3. So everyone is eligible to get these uh, get these coins. So remember to comment, like, subscribe. Boom, done deal. And I appreciate you guys watching my video, and I'll have a lot more content coming for you soon. Remember, input always helps me improve. Input and feedback. Thanks again, guys. Later.